My name is Yasnai Montalvo, and my company's name is Micro Business Catalyst. Hey, it's Kellen, and today on Diversified Game, I have a fellow Miami Day Chamber member. I don't know if she's a member yet. I, we can get into that, but she was on, you know, the uh, group call we do every Tuesday. Miss Yasnai is here to get businesses right. So if you know you're making that money, or if you are going to say you're going to start making that money. Her company is somebody you want to have a conversation with and see if you can, you know, really educate yourself on the things that you don't know when you're getting into business. So welcome to the show, Yasnai. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? Blessed by the best, as always. No, I choose not to complain because, you know, life is just too good. And um, for some, maybe not even long enough. You know, for me, I got 78 more years, God willing. But, um, but you know, I, I heard you on the call and, and hearing your business and your, your personality is infectious, you know. So give the game on what you do for all those um, entrepreneurs out there who are here in Florida and beyond. And she can do this in English and Spanish. Maybe there's even another language she can do it in. But, um, yeah, tell us about your business. I hope one day I'm going to be able to speak French, but not yet, not yet. <laughs> English and Spanish so far. So I am a micro business catalyst. I'm a business coach, a consultant, a, a profit first accountant. And we help business owners to take control of their finances, to maximize the profits. We do it through trainings, coaching programs, a membership community for ongoing support. QuickBooks implementation and cleanup, so you get your finances in order, and tailored business advisory services as you continue to grow to help you put profit first. Wow. Now, with that, you know, I have I have clients, and sometimes clients get nervous when you start saying, you know, you I, I could be a business manager, but you also need a lawyer. You need an accountant. The lawyer, they say, okay, just in case I need contracts. But the accountant, sometimes people say they're going to get all in my business and show me everything I'm doing wrong. They're going to tell me not to spend so much money, um, which isn't really the case. With you know, I, you know, you might say you're spending too much money, or you're not putting enough for savings for your taxes. But can you demystify some of those worries people have who've never had an accountant? Yes, and. Um and it's interesting because I don't consider myself a typical accountant. The, the perception of an accountant is this person that is just very close-minded, just looking at numbers and telling you what to do and what not to do, right? And in order to help a business grow, I take it to the next level and become more of a business advisor. Yes, we have to look at the numbers, but how are we going to use this information to make the financial decisions that are going to help you maximize profit? And before being an accountant, I'm an entrepreneur myself. I come mm -hmm. from a family of entrepreneurs, so I get to understand the highs and lows of having a business, of managing the finances, of the emotions around managing your money. And I get to integrate that psychology, that mindset, if you will, in my relationship with the clients to, to really help them, you know, deal with this topic that, that is not easy, if you, if you will. So as an accountant, yes, I, I love to, to dig in the numbers, but I appreciate and I even enjoy even more the coaching, the training, the the support around this topic so I can help you from the inside out. 
And can you talk about the uh, coaching and training and the accounting? Is it all in one? Because also the other thing people get nervous about is how much is this going to cost me? And I tell people it just ranges, you know, um, what I, I started with my first uh, CPA paying under $200 a month and have, you know, multiple accounts with them. Um, and of course, it's gone up throughout the years because things have got more complicated. But, you know, talk about the range because do they get, you know, the, the coaching and all that once they have you as an accountant? Or is it a few services and they can pick a la carte? Yes, and it's a very good question, Kellen, because in this industry, you find all type of ranges. And I think that's one of the things that makes entrepreneurs a little nervous of saying, okay, I need help, but how can I afford it? So the way I do it is I have different entry levels depending on where you're at. First of all, I'm very involved in the community. You met me at the chamber, I'm a member officially, but besides my relationship with the chamber, I am involved with other community development organizations, other nonprofits that they provide free or very low cost services to business owners. So I do a lot of training and I partner with them to coach the clients through this community development. So to give you an example, the Small Business Development Center at FIU, Miami Bayside Foundation, Prospera, Community Development Fund of North Miami Day, they do loans and they also do coaching. Alapata Collaborative CDC. And if you are an entrepreneur listening to this um, podcast and you have never heard of these names, these are resources in the community for you, free or very low cost. So a very intentional way of me helping business owners is partner with these organizations and provide support training and coaching through them, right? Now you get the, oh, and a big, very important partner that, that I forgot to mention is Miami-Dade County and the office of the mayor, Daniela Levin Cava. They have a big initiative, Stripe 305, and they have a virtual incubator. We're doing big things this year in 2023, and I'm one of the foundational partners with them. So a lot of resources, when you check the website, you will see all the links to all these organizations. Now, through them, you're gonna get training, coaching, a little bit of a push, but then for those business owners that want to continue getting ongoing support, I just open up a membership, right? So it's a community where you're gonna be part, and I'm using, circle for the membership. You're gonna be part of this community. You're gonna have access to me and my team to answer your questions as you get to implement. Because you're gonna get free access to QuickBooks course that I put out, Profit First. I'm, I'm putting digital courses out there at very low cost and some of them free because of these partnerships, but you need help to implement, right? So the next mm -hmm. step is, well, as you get questions in your implementation process, join this membership and we're gonna help you through this community. We're gonna do monthly trainings, Q and A sessions and provide this ongoing support, right? Now, some entrepreneurs are gonna realize, oh yes, I understand, I take the, I take the QuickBooks course, this is great, or I'm trying to implement Profit First. You answer all my questions, but I need you to help me implement and be more hands-on, right? And this is where we provide, okay, we're going to do the QuickBooks cleanup for you, or let's actually have more one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you with the implementation. And that's where you will go to the next level of business advisory services that can include cleaning up your books, doing your monthly bookkeeping, and even tailor it to your business to dig deeper on the operational efficiency. You know, that's where we would have a range of more one-on-one -on -one support. And depending on the need, the price can range, uh, you know, from 500 a month up to 5,000 a month. It really depends on where you're at. 
Okay. And you guys don't be intimidated by the 5,000 a month. That just means you have a healthy, strong business. And the more complicated things get, the more you have to pay because the bigger your teams and time that you're buying from people, because, you know, you want to pay people well, well, so they make sure they don't miss a number, um, it, you know, but I, I have to jump into this real quick with you because something tells me you have the heart of a teacher and a giver. So I want to know what is your community give back that you're doing or that you uh, would like to do in the future? The community give back that I would like to do in the future, I want to make sure I understand your, your question. Yeah, just something that, you know, is, isn't necessarily for profit. Um, sometimes they are, but it's my signature question. Um, just okay. what, what's, what's that give back? Because many people, you know, and I would say most people who are successful in building are going to be, you know, ultra successful. They're always wanting to give something back and say, hey, this is, this is what I want to do. So whether it's here or in Cuba, you know, and say, I want to do this um, for the community. Oh, yes. And, and I love your signature question. Thank you for explaining it. You know, long term and, and my biggest vision, and this is why I call myself a micro business catalyst, right, is to be able to train others to do the things I do in community development. In other words, I find that the majority of the need is at the micro level. This is where the business owners are trying to do things on their own. They need a lot of education, handholding, and I love doing it, but I need to scale it, right? So I wanna be able to train the trainer and have more micro business catalysts out there to, to create this revolution and to really make an impact at at this level in collaboration with community development because the need is huge. The need is huge. There is a lot of community organizations out there, nonprofits doing the work, but I even see myself having my own nonprofit, specializing on this financial piece. You know, you accounting and the business advisory that I do could be very profitable. Profitable. I've never seen an accountant with a nonprofit. I'm like, why would I want a nonprofit when I can make a nice living with this, right? But I see the opportunity, and and I, my vision is to provide this type of service to the people that have limited resources. Okay, and and again, you guys, a heart of a giver, wanting to see, you know, the um the small person. Um, just starting, rise up and become bigger. Now, with the training and, you know, website, everything now is you got to be on social media. What's your favorite social media platform that people can find you on? And how active are you on there? Are you, are you there weekly, daily for them to maybe, you know, kind of get the vibe? Yes, very good question for me. Social media, of course, as an accountant, I've been growing into that. My favorite platform, the one that I use more, more you know, in a daily basis is Instagram. I, I am there answering the DMs and, and interacting with my followers every day. I have, I have to be more consistent in terms of the content that I'm putting out. And this is my plan for this year uh, as I continue to learn and grow. But, but you will see all the things that I'm doing in the community in my Instagram, the, the tips that I provide, how you can join the membership, how you can uh, continue and, and it just get more support from, from us. So I would say that's my favorite one. I'm also... Uh, have a big presence in, on LinkedIn in terms of the number of followers. It's not that I post much, but you could always find me on LinkedIn um, on the Yes9 Montalvo. No, that, that's great. And, you know, I'm going to push you uh, and I'll probably tell you something offline because I can see your TikTok 
and your YouTube short game being very strong with your personality. Um, what about, you know, you have courses, um, have you, you have a book or have you started to, you know, maybe jot down and, and have a book uh, for people? I, I have the courses, the digital courses so far are focused on QuickBooks. A mastering, actually, this is a free course, you guys, so complete step-by-step -step guides that you can find in microbusinesscatalyst.com. And then I have a course for the Profit First Cash Management System. And if you have not heard about Profit First by Mike Markalowitz, please, I will tell you, I'm an accountant. I don't read my cash flow statement. I do Profit First. And it's changed my life and it has changed the life of the entrepreneurs that I've support to implement it. So I have those two courses so far. I'm in the process of building a course focused on clock working and it's more with the operational efficiency and how you can, you know, save some time, manage your time better and, and improve your operations. So those are digital courses. I don't have a book yet. Uh, I re a couple of people have told me I have to get there for sure. And, and I would say that's, that's one project that I would do uh, sooner than later. But Kellen, I'm so glad, and, and I can see it because from the PR perspective, you get it. YouTube and TikTok, I have, I have to get there. I, like, I love putting myself out there. I love video and, and the communication and explaining and educating. I love it. And, and I think it's a project that I have to be more intentional on, on putting myself out there and, and be on YouTube and TikTok. I have to. <laughs> Got you. And that book you mentioned is a great book and the author is a nice person. Um, you guys, you guys Google and research and see if we've had him on my show or another client show. You guys can do the work on that, but I, I, I really can see, you know, your, your, your vibe. It, it's, it's the time for something like that in English and in Spanish, um, you know, pushing it because if you can speak more than one language, why not? And we need more women, um, in Spanish, um, you know, and in English, but more, you know, um, Latin women, Afro Latinas, whatever you uh, claim, you know, what you say, we need that positive image because so many times when young women turn on the TV, you know, I'm old school, Univision, Sabro Gigante, and you can see everyone looking just beautiful. And yeah, you have that too. But you also have a brain. That's what me and my wife like to say. Yeah, have a brain, use it. And that's what we would tell our daughters. So, you know, it, it's the time is now. The, the people who say, okay, I have this money. I have this budget. Um, I want to work with you. Is it something that I'm going to have to dedicate so much time? Will you also be my bookkeeper? You know, some people want to be handheld. Um, do you help? do those services as well? Yes, at the business advisory level, we include the monthly bookkeeping because once we are being more strategic on providing you that guidance to grow, to improve your operations and your profitability, doing your bookkeeping, we need the accuracy of those numbers to help you make those decisions. So we do the bookkeeping in-house uh, for the business advisory services. For those that are trying to learn QuickBooks themselves and trying to figure it out, then we will provide the, the courses, the support through the membership, which is very affordable. The membership right now is at 127 a month. And with that, you get access to me and my team and get to answer all of your questions that you're trying to figure things out, right? and get access to, to the trainings that we do in a monthly basis. So if you're at the point where your budget is limited, you're trying to figure that out yourself, you still need a guide, right? And that's who we become uh, through the membership. And, and once you realize, you know what, this is great, I got the foundation, but I need to delegate it because I need to focus on other areas of my business, 
then we would we will help you with that. <laughs> Well, you guys, I'm not going to even give you any more game because I need you to go to this community. I need you to go pay that money because you paid more for your last dinner um, and your date night, your shoes, some of you, and some of you maybe possibly even the gas you spend in a week to drive around. So that's a deal. It's a steal of a deal and it makes it affordable for everybody who is serious in business. Let them know where they can find you. Give them the website, all that good stuff. And, um, you know, uh, and thank you for coming on. No, my pleasure. The website is microbusinesscatalyst.com, microbusinesscatalyst.com. And if you follow me on Instagram, that will be under microbusinesscatalyst as well. And, and I'm, this membership for me, is such an important aspect of, of getting a micro business catalyst on your side, right? Because we would cover not only QuickBooks and financial management and profit first and, and the operational efficiency, but as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm very well connected in this community. There's a lot of resources and I share with with you and these members in my community will get special pricing for QuickBooks cleanup services, for business advisory services as you continue to, to grow with us. Uh, it's a great starting point for you to get the support that you need. Entrepreneurship can be very lonely. And Kevin, I'm glad you mentioned also the importance of, of having this Spanish and this Hispanic representation in, in my community. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I, I was born and raised in Cuba, right? I came when I was 18. Uh, my entrepreneurial journey started one year after because my mom and my dad, you know, they just jump into opening a convenience store here in Miami, uh, in Little Havana from scratch. We, we had no idea what we were doing, right? We learn from our mistakes. And I went to school to study business administration, to study accounting, and everything I learned, I used it to help my parents, right? My parents, they, don't, they still don't speak English. So I, for them, I've been the translator, the accountant, the HR, the, the you know, IT, everything. They get a letter from the IRS, they will call me. I, for all these years, have been the catalyst for my family. Now I get to realize many business owners don't have that. They don't have that person that they can go to and at least if I don't have the answer, I will connect you with the right resource. This is why I'm very intentional in, in being part of this community development. And it just makes me very passionate about dealing with the micro businesses, the family businesses, the, the ones that have the, even the language barrier, the lack of computer skills, the, the lack of knowledge. I love to provide that support and it's so much needed. So this is what you get just being part of my world. And the first part is get free access to those courses that I have in microbusinesscatalyst.com. They're also available in the Stripe 305, which I'm going to share the link with, with you. The Miami-Dade County Stripe 305 uh, program, I provided them these courses and they're free to you. They're so complete. And, and then get the support. Become a member, get the support. And believe me, we are here to help you. We're here to help you every step of the way. And even though I'm not in Miami proper, I'm familiar with that program and feel free to send any links because I can put them all in there. There's so many great supports in Miami um, and South Florida. And you guys, if you're not in you know, Miami, there's still, you never know where your next contract's coming from, where somebody will call you and say, hey, I need your services just because they like your smile, your good attitude, and that you are fully prepared. Have your capability statement, your NICS codes, and all that good stuff, especially when we get into the fun stuff of the RFPs. We can get into that one 
another time because I want them first to hit you up and get situated. Because when you start getting the RFP, RFQ, source of sock talk, people start saying, Kellen, hey, man, y'all know say. But you gotta, you might have to pay for that one too, you guys. But I thank you for coming on and being a guest. Thank you, Kellen. And I, I'm something you mentioned that I think is important to clarify. The foundation is important. This applies not only for businesses that are starting out. I mean, at, at work, I work with businesses that you've been in business for 10 years and you still don't have a bookkeeping system. You still just have one bank account and, and just money comes in and goes out and you have no clue. And it's been 10 years, right? So the way I see it is at some point you have to take control. And the foundation is get organized, right? Let's implement the QuickBooks. Let's implement profit first. And, and then you can have that information to make decisions, to take on these opportunities, but you have to build the foundation. It's like this saying is you cannot build the house in the sand. You need a solid foundation. And that's what, where we start for sure. Thank you for having me, Kellen. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I thank you guys for tuning in, checking this out. Now I want you to make sure you share this with somebody. It will change and bless their life. Y'all be blessed. Hi, everyone. Have you ever been curious about visiting Africa? Which African country were you interested in? Kenya, Nigeria, Uganda, South Africa, Ethiopia? Which country are you interested in? My good friend, Kellen Cash Coleman, came up with a course called My First Trip to Africa that'll guide you through this process. It's only $20, and in this course, you'll learn about passports, visas, vaccinations that you need before you go there, as well as a budget, uh, how much the trip is gonna cost. He also talks about what you should pack, uh, what you should take with you, how you should travel on a budget. Did you know that 100 US dollars is worth a 1,000 South African rand and over 10,000 Kenyan shillings? So imagine what you can do with $100 back home. I say back home because I'm from Sudan, I'm African, I already know how it's like. I know that you know when you convert Canadian and American money, it goes a long way when you're traveling across Africa. So if you're curious, um, if, if Africa is a place that you've always wanted to go, always want to move there, Kellen Cash is the person to ask. Check out the course, there's a little preview you can listen to um, before you actually purchase it. If you're interested in this course, visit www.diversifiedgame.com. Don't miss out. Are you tired of the rat race in America? Are you ready to visit the motherland to relax and rejuvenate? Are you ready to explore all that Africa has to offer? Then check out the brand new Diversified Game Academy course, Prepare for My First Trip to Africa. Are you worried about being able to afford the trip? We got you. We will show you how to travel either on a budget or as a baller. Learn how to stress the value of the USD. Did you know that 100 United States dollars is worth over 1,000 South African Rand or 10,000 Kenyan shillings? or 54,250 West African CFA. Are you worried about taking your kids? Get the game from Kellen Cash, a bona fide world traveler, having traveled to almost 20 countries, several of those in Africa. Get the game on taking your kids on their first trips. Learn how to find the best tickets, get the visas, and plan your own adventures in Africa. Don't let Eddie Murphy have all the fun. Plan your own coming to Africa trip starring you, produced by you, and featuring you. If you are ready for a life-changing experience, sign up for our course today, Diversified Game Academy. Get prepared and purchase at DiversifiedGame.com.